I'm just going to turn that off for a second. Guys, Mr. Mike's 21, and tonight I actually fired up Cabela's Pro Hunts. Uh, reason being, got some new information in regards to Way of the Hunter. Uh, in my last video, I talked about how Pro Hunt seemed very similar. Well, the reason being, uh, Nine Rock Studios, which is the game behind Way of the Hunter under THQ, uh, the team that made up Nine Rocks was acquired from Bohemia Inter Interactive. Bohemia Interactive actually purchased that team in late 2014 or I should say early 2014 after they finished production of the game they were currently working on under the name of Cauldron. Cauldron being the company that had previously been responsible for the Big Game Hunter line of games, Dangerous Hunts line of Cabela's games, and of course this last Cabela's game. So that truly means it's the same crew. Uh, they seemingly were purchased for the purpose of making Way of the Hunter as pretty much as soon as they were picked up, production started. Which gets me very excited. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show some of the similarities this has with what we know of Way of the Hunter so far. So I'm going to turn the music back on. We're not going to play any campaign missions or anything. We're just going to go out into the free realm. A little hard to think with all of that music going, but what we've got here is essentially our class system. It also tells you the animals that are in the map, got our small game challenges. Like I was saying, the game really didn't come with much. I think you only had six or seven hunting weapons. We're just going to use the 270. I'm just going to try to shoot a couple deer, just show off the game for a few minutes. So, of course, I have a deer call equipped, uh, and a pretty regular setup. On the maps, and I'll show you once we get in there, you'll see, like, the feeding zone stuff. But before you go in, it gives you a rough idea where everything is based off of where all the challenges were uh, for the campaign, which I've already gone through. You can set a start time, but default is 7, so I'm just going to go with that. And right off the bat, there's that little, like, water drop. And a rabbit. So we can't identify calls in this. You have to get your binoculars on them. But based on where we are, it's, it's a white-tailed deer. The small game animals don't give off calls. And I'll show the map real quick, too. You can get a real good idea. So the red means there's hunting pressure. Uh, all the white outlined ones are more likely to have animals at this time. But you've got feed zones, bedding zones, drink zones, different highlights for all different animals on the map. And then you have points of interest, which are basically your tree stands. Which I'm going to go get in right now and see what we've got in this field. Now of course different ammo types actually will affect the guns differently too. I'm using partitions, 150 grain which is the higher penetration round for the 270 in game versus the 130 hollow points. Just so I can get a little better penetration. You don't really need it for white-tailed deer. But it definitely helps with the boars and black bear stuff like that uh, 103 106 Let's see if I can get one to <coughs> all right so the little ones are gonna probably come in uh, I don't really want to 
execute him, so get him to... That's the one thing when you hold shift here to hold your breath. 270 is not that accurate, so I don't want to take a super quartering shot. Not like either of these guys are real trophies. I really thought this game had great animal models, especially for its time. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this. shot excellent shot placement won't go far look familiar <laughs> yeah we can't identify we can't look at him we got a blood trail strobing pink blood uh, it doesn't highlight when you run but the blood trails you can usually see good enough Since the other one didn't run very far, they stay spotted if they don't go more than a couple hundred yards. So I know that he's just run off this field. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump over to this blind if I can. It's just easier to shoot from the blind. Come on, dude. Don't quarter towards me. I'll take a little bit of a sporty shot because this gun's not very accurate. Oh, yeah, that, that works. I don't know why this Double lung shot. game makes Excellent the 270 shot placement. deflect Won't go off far. everything. Looks like all the game has been spooked around here. Time to move on. Now, for 2014, this was a... I remember thinking this game was beautiful. And unfortunately, this is a time when, for whatever reason, there were a lot of companies that didn't... Uh, make the games look as nice on computer. So we've got our yellow tracks. But they basically just worsened the graphics. The version for console was much prettier. But I don't have any sort of capture cam for console, although I do have this game on the 360. Although my 360 uh, is a uh, first gen and it gets red ring if I so much as think of using it. Changes in the wind direction can ruin your hunt if you're not paying attention and staying downwind from your quarry. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be at drinking zones quite yet. You know what, well... Head down to the water. Now you don't want to approach bedding zones. So I'm going to drop that waypoint. Bedding zones too quickly? Because you can spook them. Don't call 
fairly frequently when they're on, well, when they're bedded. It's only when they stand up in their bed, and if you run up on them too quick while they're bedded, they tend to just jump up and take off. Oh, we got uh, foxes. I am more interested. So, we know that's probably them. Tree stands are raised platforms that are attached to trees. They usually offer relatively good concealment, but are placed higher up to avoid getting spotted by animals. Mm. Tree stands also provide some scent protection as the hunter's smell will go over the heads of nearby animals. I think they're getting out of the bedding area because they're all kind of... Just don't want to get spotted. But soft cover works as cover, so since there's some bushes between me and them, it does obstruct the view. Rocks are kind of like the be-all. Rocks are trees, so they'll block a little of your noise as well. Oh. Well. One of them just spotted me. I saw them run, and now they're all red. Probably just getting ready to leave in one. Got a good enough look at me to decide you didn't want to stick around. You're a much nicer buck. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. And you see at least gives you a little pinpoint for where the animal was shot. And you can see from here that blood strobing. So it's a pretty good render on it. That's a really nice one. Models just look really good. I heard something up here. I want to Maybe if I jump up in here. Oh, it's kind of facing the wrong way. Yep. Now only the male animals call too. At least in this game. We know that's not the case in Way of the Hunter. We did have a cow call. <laughs> I might not be able to shoot them. This might be too steep an angle. With the tree stand. Another decent one, I didn't pay enough attention to see whether this is higher score or not. But I think it looks a little smaller. I think the other one's a 6x6, six six, going off memory. Come on, stop. Don't get too close. Oh no! Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Just 
glad he didn't have enough time to respond. I don't expect you'll get another good shot here today. The local game needs some time to settle down. That gives you a, a pretty good idea of what this game was, and hopefully a little indicator for what way the hunter might be. Uh, you know, minus some of the older quirks of the game being from 2014. But that's all, guys. Have a good night, and I will see you next week.